Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. As you can see from today's title, we will be reviewing the new KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I didn't think I was going to be able to say that all in one, so pat pat to me um so if you want to sort my thoughts on the foundation i have grabbed three shades for you guys so please keep on watching so i didn't know these were coming out i normally am quite on the ball with trends not trends but like new launches but i have been really busy lately there's so been so many new launches new concealers mascaras like there's been like four mascaras new foundations i've been trying to bring out loads of different things for you um i have another review going up with the new colourpop cheek things the cheek do do cheek cheek do serum blush interesting um and i'll be doing like revolution bits as well but i wanted today's video to be the focus on the new apple balm foundation balm interesting very interesting so um let's just get straight into it i don't want to keep you around too long i did have a virtual event with kvd vegan beauty this was sent over as pr this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form um this was just given as pr i have to tell you for government guidelines um i had a virtual event with them which was amazing they showed how to demo it um i grabbed some information what it's good for what it's not so i can just sort of fill you in give you all the little tea it comes with 10 grams of product which is nice Especially for a foundation balm, I know normally it's 30 grams, so I'm guessing you don't need to go in with too much, and it's because it's a solid form, less is wasted. Yeah, um, I believe it retails for £29. It's, I'm looking at the Boots website currently, it's £29. I'm going to give you some information on the foundation now. Usually, KVD Beauty is known for their full coverage foundation or complexion products. However, they said one thing that they're missing was a full coverage foundation for people with dry skin. So it's available in 40 shades and offers fast, lightweight, yet buildable coverage with a fresh matte finish. Infused with hydrating apple extract, that's why it's called Apple Balm. I was wondering why it was called Apple Balm. And sodium hyaluronate, the foundation balm allows skin to breathe without having to worry about skin looking cakey and exaggerating dry patches amazing so the versatile balm can be adapted to suit your complexion needs and um, so the tips from the artistry team at kvd light to medium coverage dip a damp beauty sponge beauty beauty sponge into the compact and bounce onto skin medium to full coverage use a dense foundation brush such as like the locket edge foundation brush i want to get my hands on that brush because it looks amazing to build and blend and to spot conceal use your finger to concentrate the coverage on any blemishes i have three shades with me i have the shades medium 27 i had the shades medium 33 and i had the shade medium 51 so i will take these all out of the packaging now and show you i do have the two previous foundations from um K kat von d or kvd beauty so i have the locket foundation in the shade medium 54 neutral and then in the true portrait that's what it's called i'm the shade medium 33 so we do have the shade medium 33 here which is exciting this fits me very very nicely i love this foundation highly recommend it absolutely adore the packaging um of these so we have the shade uh let's let me put it in order medium 27 which is this one right here which is okay but slightly too light we have the shade medium 33 which is probably going to be my shade and then we have the shade here medium 51 which is going to be ever so slightly dark which i could just use this to slightly bronze ever so slightly if i've gone for those really natural days but yeah i'm going to be going in with the shade medium um 33 so the brush I will be going in with today is the It Cosmetics um, Complexion Perfection Number 7 brush. It's like an all over and conceal brush. I have only recently just gotten this. Now, I've seen a few friends of mine that have worked at It Cosmetics and things like that and have said that this brush is incredible. I was thinking, yeah, it's a brush. Like, I've got loads of other brushes. No, this is incredible. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation the other day, best believe, and I took a pump. Of that and full coverage it's full coverage i love the foundation um and normally i have to put the pump all over the face but i just dabbed a tiny bit of the brush onto the foundation and blended it and i swear i didn't even use a quarter of that pump and my face was covered i've got the instagram video on my um uh, i've got the video on my instagram so if you want to check it out go find it it should have like the charlotte tilbury foundation as a thumbnail highly recommend this brush honestly it's incredible i'll link it if i can all the information and shade references will be in the description for referencing i am a mac nc25 to nc27 more towards an nc27 i'm nars sahel i am charlotte tilbury number six neutral i'm fenty 260 Too faced natural beige let me think of a few other foundations 
um revolution f10 so that's sort of giving you an idea huda beauty latte i'll put all the information in the description i do have slightly dry skin recently just because i did like a little popping session and i find that after i dermaplane and i pop my skin pop my skin like get rid of the gunk out of my skin it tends to get a little bit tight and dry just because the oils have been removed so taking the shade medium 33 i don't know how much to take here i'm gonna go for their advice where it says i'm gonna go for medium to full coverage so use a dense foundation brush this is dense ish um to build and blend okay so we're gonna do one side now so i can sort of show you and i do apologize if you can hear my chair squeak so i'm just gonna take okay so this picks up really easy on the brush which is nice so you don't have to go in too much i'm just gonna go in with that for now and let's go oh Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be like really sheer, if anything. But that has gone on. Wow. Sorry, I was not expecting. I was expecting this to be like really sheer. I don't know what it is about foundation balms. Because it's a balm, I just expected it to be ever so slightly like sheer. But it's not. It's really not. It's got, I think you guys can see it's got some coverage. Oh, this is so quick and easy. Now, I know it probably doesn't look like the shade for me, but trust me, once everything's blended in, it will. This does have slightly bit more like a yellowy tone to what the True Portrait Foundation does. I won't lie to you, it does. Because the True Portrait Foundation is slightly warmer than this one, but this one has slightly bit more of a yellow tone. This is, I'm not even using a mirror here. I'm just using my camera lens to see how i'm blending this this is so nice on the skin it's so lightweight it doesn't feel bear in mind i have a ton of dry spots recently just because like i told you i did like a little cleansing my skin session so if you can hear some sighs it's just my dog um he hates when i film because then i don't give him attention bless him but yeah that is what one side is looking like see that's without the foundation that's with just like a little layer and i have like obviously buffed it in i have the urge to go in with a sponge but i don't want to just because i'm trying to steer away from sponges these days just because i prefer brushes that is what one side is looking like you can see i've still got a little bit of like my skin seeping through which i sort of like these days i feel as if a lot of people are gonna love this um i do have some certain dry patches and they are ever so slightly clinging to them but they're not accentuating them i don't know if there is a difference in that um i am noticing but it's only around my nose area i think you'd be able to see there is a little bit of gathering of product which isn't amazing um but I'm hoping once the skin warms up to it, it'll all just blend beautifully. But I'm going to take a little bit more and see if we can just start to cover. OK, it does. Um, those areas. You don't need a lot on the brush. You literally need to go in maybe once or twice. It's very like creamy. So you don't need to worry too much. But it's lovely. I don't really see the matte feel yet. But I get how for dry skin people this would. It's like it's not too glowy. But it has this slight like mattifying feel to it. Um, but it doesn't feel matte. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on this side compared to this side. However, my nose on this side doesn't feel as tight as it does on this side. Maybe that's just the foundation, the hydrating element. Because I can feel the tightness around here, but I can't feel the tightness around here anymore. Interesting. Now that I've, this is sort of where I want to go with the foundation. It's definitely covered way more than it did the first time. And we only went in with a little bit more. And um, the shade reference is nice. It probably doesn't look nice on camera, but in person, trust me, it works. Um, as I said, this is the side with the foundation. And this is the side without the foundation. Here's what the whole foundation is looking like. I do look a bit mad right now just because, one, the camera, two, the lighting, three, I have got nothing else other than the foundation on. But it's so nice on the skin. It really is. It's not clung. Now that I, it's like sort of blended into my skin, it's not clinging to that dry area that I thought I would. Oh, quite impressed. I like it. I do very, very, very much like it. So what I'm going to do, it feels very nice on the skin. It just feels very comfortable. Like, very comfortable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the rest of my face off of camera. I'll come back to you with my final thoughts when everything is done and I look semi-decent. And yeah. Okay, so I'm back. I've done the rest of my face. I have, like, oh. You know when you just get one of those really bad hair days, like my hair is having a really bad hair day. It's getting to the point now, like, you know when you grow out your hair 
and it's like it's at that point where it's at a really awkward length like when this starts to grow and it's not just sitting oh it's horrible i hate it oh my god i literally hate it. i'm like debating if i should just like chop it all off right i just had to pin it back a little bit because it's doing my head in um yeah, so onto the foundation. I don't know. I, I do like it. Um, foundation's not really a problem. I don't know what it is. I feel as if I just look a little bit cakey today. I don't know. Like, I feel as if my base is very that. I have done, like, a bronzer tutorial. But I just feel very warm. I don't know. You know, and it's one of those days. Maybe it's just because I'm just feeling a little bit extra. Um, but the skin looks really, really nice. Bear in mind, I have got, like, really dry skin currently. My skin is normal to combination. But I've got like really dry skin currently. I really feel this would make do really nice for like oily, not oily skin, dry skin babes. Like this would be very, very nice. It's sitting nicely. It's not sitting as nice as the previous, like the true portrait one from Kat Von D, K, Kat Von D, KVD Beauty personally. Like I would still go for that one. I would love to use this foundation in like a bronzer form because this would be gorgeous like i'm gonna try and see if i can get my hands on a darker shade because that for bronzing would probably be one of the best bronzing like creams i, I will use yeah it looks really nice on like i have got quite a lot of creams on today so it probably just looks ever so slightly a little bit heavy but i am not complaining to be honest i'm really not complaining i just need this hair to grow out like oh anyways so yeah overall i think it's very very nice um i've not got any complaints I do feel if you're oily, you might want to steer away from this personally. That's just me. I don't know why that is. Um, I can't really give you a definite answer. I just feel as if I, have, I haven't got any highlight or anything like that. And my normal oils are seeping through. I did use quite a like matte powder um, just in case I do get oily. But this would definitely, I don't think, would be aimed towards oily skin. I think you've got normal combination to matte and to dry skin, matte skin, to dry skin, then you might want to try this. You have like oilier skin, you might want to steer away from this. I feel as if this review's just gone to shambles because I don't know what it is. I'm just not feeling any of this look today. Like, I don't like the brows. I don't like the, I like the base, like the foundation base, but I don't like anything else about it. I don't know what it is. It's just one of those days where you look at yourself and just go, what? That is all I really got to say. Would I recommend it? Yes. Um, I think it's very different to what I'm used to with foundations because I'm normally used to like a really matte foundation or it being really dewy. But this sort of just like suits my skin. It's melted in really nicely with my skin. It works really well with creams and powders. Um, it doesn't, it's not like the ones that goes cakey. You can definitely like get very quite medium coverage, like sheer to medium and then get more of a fuller coverage if you're into that. So yeah, I would definitely recommend. I think you've got dry skin. I know I've got a lot of dry skin babies on here. Hello. Um, I would recommend to you to probably get this. It's £29. On Boots, you can probably use like your Boots card or you can use your points. Or there's probably like on the KVD website or there's probably other places that stock KVD Beauty that you can grab it from. So I will leave links to everything in the description. Again, I will put my shade references and obviously other shade options there for you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you going to grab it? Um, what do you think it looks like on me? Is it something you're interested in? Is it not something you're interested in? Let me know your thoughts. I just love reviewing things for you guys and then we have a little chat about it so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i will be doing loads of other reviews so if there's any products you'd love me to review please write it in the comment section and i will try and get around to grabbing it for you and reviewing it so yeah thank you so much for watching please share with your friends like comment subscribe you know all that jam and i shall see you in my next one bye